In this class we will see how to convert polylines, regions and solids into mesh objects. We will also make the smoothing and refinement of knitwear. Open the available file and let's get started. First we will see the command mesh smooth, triggered in the mesh tab, the mesh panel, which converts 3D objects, regions and polylines into meshes. Activated the command, we click on the object to be converted and ready, we have the conversion completed. We can increase the smoothing of the mesh with the smooth more command and decrease with the smooth less command, note. As we have seen earlier, mesh objects are composed of multiple subdivisions or serrated smoothings, which define editable faces. Each face consists of underlying facets. When we increase smoothness, the number of facets increases to give a smoother and rounded appearance. Here are some examples of soft level meshes ranging from 0 to 4. Note each selected mesh and its respective degree of smoothness, in the palette of properties. By default, the zero level has no smoothness, and level 4 is the highest degree of smoothness available. We can change from zero level of smoothness to level 4 through the properties, note. Now let's look at the command mesh refine, which multiplies the number of editable faces existing in mesh objects or selected faces. Allowing us to perform a fine adjustment to the object. You can make the fine fit of any mesh that has a smoothness level of one or more. We will smooth out a mesh with level 4, refinancing it further. We trigger Mesh Refine, select the object to be refined and press Enter to confirm. You see, we have the object mesh with improved look, due to the fine fit performed. Now let's adjust only one subface of the object. With the Mesh Refine command active, we press the Control key and click on the subface to be refined. We press enter and see the result, we have a refined subface, allowing other possibilities of editing the mesh. Remembering that higher levels of smoothness result in a greater number of faces after fine tuning. We saw in this class how to convert objects into meshes and we learned how to smooth and refine meshes.